from that very strong growth. What does that mean in terms of Brazil's outlook? Yeah, we have uh, Brazil at stable outlook at, at Fitch uh, at a triple B rating, uh, which is essentially an investment grade rating. Uh, we think that the upward and the downward pressures on the rating are evenly balanced at this point in time. Uh, you're absolutely right that there's been a disappointing economic uh, performance in, in Brazil, um, you know, the last couple of years and the sluggish uh, economic recovery uh, is, is also, um, you know, something that we have to uh, monitor. Now, we at Fitch think that uh, the economic performance and the weakness that we've seen in Brazil really is a combination of cyclical and structural factors. Uh, we think that, you know, clearly the cyclical slowdown in, in, in the economy, uh, in the world economy, uh, softening of commodity prices, uh, softening in China's growth, uh, tough import restrictions in, in Argentina are clearly hindering uh, a more rigorous uh, economic rebound in, in, in Brazil. But more importantly, there are also certain structural factors that, that, that are also coming to the fore in, 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 in Brazil. And in these include uh, some of you know our long um, standing concerns in in Brazil and these are like you know weak infrastructure heavy and in complex uh, tax uh, tax burden uh, rigid labor markets and, and these are issues that are cropping up again in Brazil from our perspective what is really important is that you know the the, the authorities um, you know keep an eye on 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 on, on uh, this economic rebound uh, and are able to address uh, in a meaningful and a timely ma uh, fashion uh, this this the slowness in 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 the economy uh, without uh, leading to uh, you know excessive fiscal stimulus or without leading to um, you know more negative debt dynamics uh, in 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 Brazil because the GDP debt ratio is a little bit higher than yeah. some other triple B countries right yes the um, we're talking here in Brazil of gross general government debt burden of about uh, more than actually 50 percent of GDP now this is um, you know materially higher than our triple B median which is around 40 percent of GDP. Uh, similarly, other solvency ratios that we look at, such as interest to revenue, uh, is almost double the, the one that we see in the triple B uh, uh, category. So clearly, the fiscal flexibility of Brazil to you know, stimulate its economy in a sustained fashion and in a big way is much more constrained than some of the other countries in this rating peers, for example, like Peru, which has clearly got much lower debt burden and has stabilization funds uh, to cope with uh, uh, you know, any economic pressures that it might face.